Frank Hilcom is free transfer to the Arsenal. Now, when it comes to the Arsenal with Phil Lads, let's just say it's not our strongest point. Of course, when it comes to the Arsenal deep line playmaker, it's man like Granit Xhaka. And despite having a very awful start this season under Unai Emery, where he was even booed off by the Arsenal fans, Xhaka has proved a lot of Arsenal fans wrong. But in terms of the other aspects of the Arsenal midfield, Arsenal simply for me lack a ball progressor. Now, in terms of the player who's meant to do that right now, of course, it's man like Danny Ceballos. But of course, the Ceballos currently being on loan for Real Madrid and the fact there is no obligation to buy this contract, that for me leaves a space in the Arsenal squad. Which brings us today to Manchester United youngster Angel Gomez. Now of course Angel Gomez is a player who's come through the Man United Academy and he has been touted as one of their best potential prospects. But in terms of his current Man United contract, it is due to expire at the end of the season and the man is yet to renew his contract, meaning he could be available on a free transfer come the start of the transfer window. And with Arsenal needing midfielders and Gomez being a pretty decent one, that's where it brings us today lads. So with that being said guys, let's get into this video and let's discuss the potential free transfer of Angel Gomez to the mighty Arsenal. So let's talk it. Now when it comes to transfers, you know, Arsenal in general don't like to spend money. So when you see a free transfer, I bet you right now Rouse and Lay's eyes are lighting up. Free transfer? Yes please. Yo what's going on guys, my name is Bass 14 and welcome back to my channel. In today's video here today, we are looking at another Arsenal potential transfer target and today we're talking about Man United youngster, Ankel Gomez. Or to give him his full name, Ali Son Ankel Ebru de Almadia Gomez. Ankel Gomez works for me. Now of course Gomez is a Man United youngster and as I've already said, his contract is due to expire at the end of the season. And despite you United trying to sign Gomez on the contract, Gomez is yet to extend his contract, which would make him available on a free transfer when the transfer window does eventually open, which whenever that is, boy, I can't wait for it. But with that being said, guys, before we get into the video, so I'm going to go down there and smash a like on the video. If you like to smash the like target of 100 likes, you both appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to go down there and smash the subscribe button as well and turn on the post notifications. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are getting there. Make sure to follow all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff, links in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe to the offside is, and as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments on Angel Gomez. Would you take him off school? Is he a player that we should sign and you know retransfer? Or we'll probably take him anyways. But with that being said, guys, without any further ado, let's stop the talking. That you know, let's start talking a bit more and let's talk about Angel Gomez and his free transfer to the Arsenal which is of course all potential so let's be talking. First things first lads let's start off with who exactly is Angel Gomez? Who are you mate? Now in terms of Angel Gomez he is a Manchester United youth product currently 19 years of age and despite former Portuguese Man United player Nani being his godfather wow you love something new every day Angel Gomez has represented England so far in his career and in fact he's played for the under 16, under 17, under 18, under 19, under 20s and yet to play for the under 21s weirdly enough. But yeah in terms of his nationality lads he is English, he's Brexit and what you love to see. In terms of the position that he plays, lads, of course, this is very key. He is an attacking midfielder, but he also has the ability to play as a left midfielder, a right midfielder, and also when needed to also to play as a deeper playmaking midfielder. Now, in terms of the history of Angel Gomez, again, this is pretty boring, actually. Despite having been born in London to ex-Portuguese player Gil Gomez, he was born in Edmonton, London, and then he joined the Manchester United Academy at the age of just six years. I mean, what was I doing at the age of six? probably eating some sort of food. So yeah, Gomez has been part of the United Academy for a very, very long time. And in 2015, he was actually voted Man United's most valuable youth player. Now, of course, having pressed into the Manchester United Academy, he then made his first team debut in 2017 when he came on for Man like Wayne Rooney and therefore becoming the youngest ever player to make appearance for Manchester United. The guy was only 16 years old. Now, what was I doing at 16 years of age? Probably playing FIFA and again, eating food. But despite breaking through in 2017, in 2018 on the Mourinho, he never really worked out. And so far, the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer plus Solskjaer has yet to really play it, which is why for me Gomez is yet to extend his contract. So despite United wanting him to sign a new contract, Gomez is be like, yo bro, if you're not playing me, I'm not signing that team. So moving on lads, what type of player exactly is Angel Gomez? Forget about who are you's mate, let's see how you play mate. Now in terms of Angel Gomez, let's get it straight, in terms of his key feature for me of course is his height. According to Wikipedia lads, the man is 5 foot 3. Now I'm not one to talk about height because I myself am a very small person, but yeah, Gomez is smaller than me. How is that even possible? But let's not let height get in the way, of course. Let's not forget one of the best midfielders to ever play for Arsenal, Santiago Zola, was only 5'5. Sanchez was only 5'7. Torreira was only 5'4. So for me, lads, to be honest, in the current way football's going, height really doesn't matter. But in terms of stylistically, what type of player is Angel Gomez? In terms of the way he plays, let's get it straight. He's a very silky player, and his key strengths being his passing ability, and of course, his dribbling ability, which is very key for Arsenal. Now, in terms of why I say it's key for Arsenal, of course, is because, as I said at the start of the video, we need ball progressive 
Gomez. Now, despite Gomez being only 19 years old, yes, he's still a youngster. I've actually watched a bit of Gomez playing the Man United Academy. Yes, you heard that right. I actually have seen the Man United Academy. And I actually had a tweet back in last year where I actually compared him to Santi Cazorla. So before all you men enter the comments and go, yo, Babs, what are you talking about? You don't know who this guy is. I actually do know. I've done my research beforehand and I actually think he's a decent player. So for me, like, if you look into the type of player that he is and the strengths that he'd bring to Arsenal and the fact that he could be available on a free transfer, that's why for me, this becomes a very interesting deal. And even if you look at United, there's a reason why they want him to stay. The man is, of course, a very good talent. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, his height's more and maybe that might be a thing to affect us. I mean, one can only imagine the effect of having a 5 for 3 midfielder in Anka Gomez and another 5 for 4 midfielder in Lucas Herrera. I can already see the Burnley midfielders licking their lips. But at the same time, lads, you have to look into the ability of the player as well. The man has the ability to become a very, very good player. And in terms of a natural and raw skill there, you can see it. It's there. And as I've already said, lads, we've already seen a short player come to us like Santi Cazorla. And look how good he was. Because if football was all about height, lads, Stoke City would have won at least 34 Premier League titles. So yeah, for me, lads, in terms of the type of that Angle Gomez is, and the player that I would compare him to for me would be Santi Gazzola. And even ex Manchester United graduate Danny Weber said that Gomez is still very small, but he sees the game seconds before others. Angel was like Paul Scholes, he can dictate a game with his intelligence. The man said Paul Scholes, your Arsenal, sign him up. And that leads us on perfectly to the next point, and that is why do Arsenal need it? Simply put in just two words, Ball progressor. For me, that's having a look into the type of player that Angel Gomez is and what he can offer Arsenal and what are his key strengths. It's clear to see his dribbling ability is very, very good. He has a very good ability to dribble past players and open space for other players as well. And of course, when it comes to the Arsenal way and the way football is going right now, a lot of teams tend to press your midfield. And if you then have a player like Angel Gomez who is so press resistant, playing in that deep line midfield role or even in an attacking midfield role, that becomes a very valuable asset. Because by having that there, when teams do press onto you and you evade the press, hallelujah, lads, you're in behind and you can source some goals and cause some damage. And for me, lads, as I've said, if you look into the current profile of the Arsenal, Midfielders, we don't really have a top top ball progressor. Danny Survivors is a decent ball progressor, but if Arsenal want to, you know, progress at the top of the games, we need an elite player there. Now, I'm not saying Gomez is that player right now because the man is still 19 years old, but for me, like if you look into his potential, I think he has the potential to become a player, an elite player in that ball progressing area. As I've already said once in this video and I've tweeted ages ago, I honestly do see a young Santi Gazzola here. And if you guys know me well enough, you know that I absolutely love Santi Gazzola. So for me to be comparing even this guy to Santi Gazzola, it just tells you there, there how much I actually rate this guy, how much potential I see in it. And so for me, as in terms of why Arsenal need him, it's simple. We need a ball progressor, and for me, Angel Gomez has the ability to be a very, very good one. Rouse and Leahy bring him to the Arsenal and make Arsenal short again. Moving on, lads, and moving on to the final point, lads, and that is easy worth the free transfer. I mean, this is a very simple answer. Yes, 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 and uh, yes. For me, lads, by signing Gomez on a free transfer, there's just zero risk to this thing. You sign him on a free transfer, if he doesn't work out, for me, he's a quality player and he could be sold for at least a few more million pounds in a few years time but if things do work out lads you could save yourself at least 40 million pounds and that for me doesn't just mean signing Gomez from some other team but also the fact that you could then let go of Danny Ceballos and have Angel Gomez there now of course it would be a massive risk to let go of an experienced player at Ceballos and bring in Gomez but at the same time for me lads I just see potential in this kid I actually look at this guy and I go this guy can be a top top baller in terms of the way I like to watch football and players I love so much is for me it's Thiago Alcantara's Santi Cazorla these satisfying players and I am honestly saying from the bottom of my heart I see that type of ilk of player in terms of Angel Gomez he's sure I understand that and a lot of fans will be against that but those fans are also the same fans that were chanting oh Santi Cazola when the man was running rings around the Manchester City midfield so for me lads in terms of Gomez yes his height is small but for me that becomes irrelevant because if you then look into what else he can offer off in terms of his dribbling ability his passing ability and overall the potential player at stare the overall risk to the transfer is just not there so for me lads why not bring him to Arsenal as I've already so lads, if it don't work out, you can sell him for a bit of profit. But if it does work out, lads, you've got the next post goals, Santi goes all a hybrid. I mean, you'd have to see it. And also, let's not forget, lads, in terms of Man United and their academy, they are known for letting midfielders go on a free. Because, of course, who was the last midfielder to leave Man United on a free transfer? Oh, yeah, a certain Paul Pogba. So, in terms of me and my personal opinion on the situation, I think in a free transfer, there's no risk for the transfer. He has insane potential. I would bring Angel Gomez to the Arsenal. As I said already, Raul and Leahy, make Arsenal short again, and then make Arsenal tall again, and bring Thomas Partey as well. That's what I want to see. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Of course, if you have enjoyed this video, 
video make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video also make sure to subscribe to the channel as well if you are new we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers make sure to follow my social medias links will be in the description you know twitter instagram snapchat all of that good stuff and also make sure to follow the offside is the new group channel that i'm part of we're making some banging videos some banging podcasts ranking videos all that good stuff so make sure to subscribe to them as well but with that being said guys let's end the video very very in today's video we have discussed the potential transfer of manchester united academy product and Gil gomez to the arsenal for me lads free transfer no risk this is a no-brainer arsenal bring him and make arsenal short again anyways guys i'll see you next time in a bit.